everybody. So today I will be reading Does Anybody Love Me by Jillian Lobel and illustrated by Rosalind Beardshot. You might see my little animals come around this video. Come here. This is Snickers. She is very sweet. And then my cat's name is Willie. Hold on, you gotta move so I can read the book. No, you have to move that. Okay, now well she's gonna sit right there. Okay, well, I'll read on this side. You can read, you can listen to the story. That's okay. Charlie was making chocolate pudding. She put dirt into a bowl, added pebbles and raisins. Oh, added pebbles for raisins and sand for sugar. She turned on the water and her mixture became soft and runny. She stirred it. Pudding flew everywhere. Oh, Charlie, Dad looked mad. I'm making pudding for Grandpa. Charlie said, you're making a mess. Charlie stomped upstairs. Dad couldn't have any pudding. Mm. And there's my cat. <laughs> In the bathroom, Charlie filled the sink with water and sailed boats. A big storm coming, she stirred and waves splashed over the soap. Crash! She smacked the water and it ran onto the floor. Uh-oh, she's making a mess again. Oh, Charlie, Mom said. Nobody, you're all wet. Nobody loves me, I'll run away, Charlie said. They'll be sorry. In her bedroom, she filled her suitcase with a sweatshirt and a hat. Then she tucked Panda under her arm. Excuse me. There we go. In the kitchen, Charlie squashed cookies and juice into her suitcase. Then she went outside and sat down on the front step. Where should she go? I'll run away to the jungle. They'll never find me there. Do you think she should run away to the jungle? At the bottom of the garden grew a tangle of bushes. Charlie crawled through a tunnel to her secret hiding place. The leaves smelled sharp and sweet. Silver cobwebs stuck to her hair. Fir trees made a secret den where their branches bent to the ground. She couldn't see her house at all. Now we'll have a party, she told Panda. They shared the cookies and juice. Then they played shipwreck. We must find water, Charlie cried when they reached the desert island. It was fun, but Charlie was really thirsty. There was no more juice in the carton. Panda began to whimper. Suddenly, a drop of water fell. We are saved, Charlie shouted, but the rain trickled down her neck and soaked her clothes. Charlie shivered. Don't worry, Panda, she said. I'll look after you. Poor Charlie and Panda. No, uh, Willie. <laughs> Lightning flashed. Charlie grabbed Panda. I want to go home, shouted Panda. We can't, said Charlie. Nobody loves us anymore. In the bushes, something cr crackled and Charlie heard breathing. <gasps> what is it going to be? It was Grandpa. I'm so glad I found you, he panted. I don't know how to find my way home. Don't worry, Grandpa. Charlie hugged him. I'll save you. Just follow me. Charlie took Grandpa and Panda home. You found Grandpa, Mom said, giving Charlie a hug. You're so brave. Charlie led Grandpa into the warm kitchen and served him a big helping of pudding. And that is the end. And that book was Does Anybody Love Me by Jillian Lobel, illustrated by Rosalind Beardshaw. I think this book has a really important message, especially right now, because sometimes as kids we feel like, I don't know if anybody loves me. Maybe someone's not telling you that they love you, or maybe they're just busy. Maybe your parents are working, and it's just hard sometimes. And even though you get messy sometimes, and even though you mess stuff up, 
people do still love you. I love you. Your parents love you. So remember that today. I hope you like this book, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Sorry about all my animal fiasco. <laughs>